Uh, this radiograph uh, shows uh, an arrow that is again mostly faced with uh, in the angle bisecting technique and this is the incomplete coverage of the x-ray sensor by the x-ray beam as we know that uh, the beam x-ray beam only exits from the uh, uh, PID or the position indicating device and it is only the inside of the cone that allows the x-ray to pass anything that is outside the cone is collimated by the action of the collimator and this is uh, done as we know for, from a protection point of view so if there is a failure or so if there is a failure or misalignment uh, between the uh, position indicating device or the cone uh, in a way that it does not completely cover the uh, x-ray sensor we will end up with an image that we we will end up with an image just like this one see this circle over here this circle exactly matches the inside of the cone so here all this part there is x-ray just outside the cone there is completely no x-ray allowed to pass by the action of the collimator so there is no exposure okay this ends up if you don't fail if you don't fail uh, if you fail to uh, cover the uh, film then only part of the film will be exposed and the other uh, the remaining part will will not receive x-ray so there is no image okay this term is known as the cone cut cone cutting uh, cone cutting as you ca the, from the name it is the cut of the coverage of the cone okay so you will have a part that is exposed to x-ray and then you will have a part that is not exposed and this image for good things is that you have seen what you want but in some instances as we will show in other images the part that you really want to see will be not exposed to x-ray and hence there will be no image see this x-ray over here this x-ray has two uh, problems the first problem is that it was underexposed it means that the exposure time is less than what is needed the second thing is that it has a severe cone cut that it has <coughs> completely cut off the crown sometimes you need actually you need the crown you need the whole tooth uh, and hopefully with the digital imaging you can increase or decrease the density and the contrast but of course this is to a limit okay uh, if the exposure was so low then you cannot you cannot do anything so this image as you can see first of all it has uh, it was underexposed second there was a severe cut in the uh, in the uh, image so that it failed to free or the, the whole crown of the tooth was cut off another image which is more uh, I can I don't know what to say it is it's full of uh, 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 mistakes see the cone cut one two there is a cutoff in the because of, of incomplete coverage over here so this is a total failure it, it is the patient was unnecessarily exposed another cone cut over here plus the film was pushed too much downward so that you don't see the crown let us concentrate on the cone cutting see all this 
was cut off. It means that the cone was directed, if this is the film, the, this is the total area of the film, then the cone was covering another area which was there in which there was no film. So it was it was not covered. See the see the effects of the concat how 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 it suppose you, you want to see this too. Then you have to take another radiograph. Another concat? Concat from the top. Another concat which has completely, uh, uh, I, I can't say, you can't even know what, which, which area was uh, taken, for which area was it taken. 